If you have Compiz uh, installed on your computer, uh, you're no doubt uh, familiar with the magic lamp effect in Compiz. Um, it's it's kind of neat, I guess, but it's not quite as polished as the Mac OS. Now, for whatever reason, probably having to do with software patents, uh, the Compiz team has decided to uh, leave the ability out for you to change that. Uh, if you go into Preferences and Compiz Config, okay, go to Effects, Animations, Effect Settings, and then scroll down to where it says Magic Lamp. And click this little plus sign here, and you'll see Max Waves 3. Now you can go up to 20, you can go down to 3, but you can't go any lower than 3, and I'm going to show you how to change that right now. So we'll click out of this, and we're going to open up the terminal. Now before you start this, uh, you're going to want to make uh, a change. If you're currently running Compiz right now, uh, you just go d right click on the desktop, go down to change desktop background and visual effects and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on none. Uh, I can't do that right now or it's going to stop the recording. Just click on now and then close. Uh, none and then close. Alright, so from here you're going to want to make sure that you have a uh, hex editor installed. Uh, I'm running uh, Linux Mint right now. It's based on Ubuntu 10.10. .10. Um, other versions, it's probably uh, the same, but I'm going to do a sudo apt get, whoops, get install um, ghex. Now, it's going to tell me that I already have it, but uh, what you're going to want to do is it's going to ask you if you want to install it, type Y for yes, and watch it install. It'll only take about a minute to do that. Um, and now I'm going to do uh, sudo, because we need root access uh, for this, sudo nano, whoops, no, no, <laughs> nano, uh, and then forward slash USR forward slash share forward slash compiz forward slash uh, animation uh, dot SO no no wait animation dot XML so uh, forward slash u usr forward slash share forward slash compiz forward slash animation dot xml hit enter i'm going to do try to find uh it is right here so we're going to do a control w to find imagine that okay control w and then type in max underscore waves hit enter and it's going to find it for you but you're going to want to scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see this right down here. Okay, so go up to where it says 3, get rid of that, and then type in a 0. Now hit Control X to exit. It's going to ask you if you want to save. Hit Y, to yes to save. And then it's going to show you the file name USR share uh, compiz and animation.xml. That's the one we want to save it to, so hit enter. Now from here, we're going to do a GK su and then uh, G hex 2 forward slash USR forward slash lib forward slash compiz forward slash lib animation dot so hit enter on that okay it'll probably ask you for a password but I've already put mine in earlier so 
Um, now I'm going to do a control F to find. I'll click into this little box over here and then type in max underscore waves. Click find and it found it so we'll cancel out of this. And right here where it says magic lamp max waves min 3 click on that so it's highlighted and don't delete it just type 0 okay so you just highlight it and then type 0 alright and then from here you go up to file and click on save I can't do it because again it's going to stop the recording if I do um, so you just click on save and then exit out of this. I'm going to click cancel for me. <laughs> Whoops, no, not cancel. I'm going to don't save for me. Uh, you're going to want to save it. Um, and that's all you need to do. And then from here, just go into your menu or wherever it is and click on log out and then just log back in and it will be working. Now once you've logged back in go to menu, um, preferences, comp is config and then back to effects, animations, effect settings, Scroll down to Magic Lamp, and you'll see now three is over here. So you just go down to zero like that, and that should be it. You just close that out, and let's see what happens. Open up a Firefox browser, test it out, and there it is, right there. That's how it's done.